This is April 31st of 2015 and I haven't run my dogs here for quite a while. This is James A. Reed. Uh, the park burnt off all the ground out here. Well, a part of it anyway on this section where it's on the south side and it's growing up. Looks like they've uh, made some brush piles out here. That's nice. Nice tender green grass for the rabbits. So, uh, pretty open nowadays. But that's okay, they just did half of it. Still got the uh, west side that's untouched. So, we'll see what happens here. I hear James A. Reed on uh, the 31st of April in. We started a rabbit right over here. By there's a little pond right here. Um, I think the the rabbit came up out of the bed right in front of him. So I should have some good video of rabbit running through here because there's a lot of area on the east side of this. It's been cut, or pardon me, not cut, but it's been burnt. And it's come back with some nice tender grass, and I understand the rabbits have been out here feeding really nice. And so, a couple of local houndsmen have been out here running in the morning. Retired houndsmen, and they've been running and gave me a heads up. So, we'll see. I'm heading north. They get some good long runs if this rabbit comes across here to the east. Gets in this short stuff. Well, my dogs brought it up through this little hedge, through these roses, up and through here. And I was on the other side, but get to be a long run here. I really don't know which way. This rabbit seems to be going clockwise. Because they jumped him up down, down by that little pond. There's a little pond down there. Yeah, they're walking that way.
like this. They're heading back down there. So I thought I might get a little shot of the rabbit, but I missed it. I'm kind of thinking I'm on a good side to take a get a shot of this rabbit, but I'm not quite sure. I've been working a brush pile on the left here, on the other side of these little trees. There it goes. Nope, oh, that was a bird, I think. Yep, those are birds. <coughs> they started right down. Right down in here. There's a pond. There it goes. Ooh, it's it's kind of crawling, but it's moving. It's a big one. They should cut right across this green. It looks like that rabbit's going to come right down this way and then maybe go into the pond here. So I'll sit right here. That was a big rabbit. Shoot, it looked fat. <coughs> I'm going to get it right about now. There it goes. Let's head back down into the pond. There they go. This is where I actually started Charlie. Right out here in this very spot. When she was about four and a half, five months old, I it was this time of year when she started on her rabbits. Now they're in down there by the swamp now, the pond. that rabbit did was walk kind of run up that little berm there kind of followed the, the brush all the way up around and he, he went up about 150 yards and then cut across over here so I'm hoping to get some more pictures of the rabbit before my batteries go dead Boy, he's crawling, crawling, crawling. That's not a very big rabbit. <laughs> he's right there at the base of those trees. That old dogs are just now coming out. He's going to have to move. There he is. Right here. If I had a shotgun, I could pop him. He's going to be popped out right there. He goes. He crawled across. Okay. Sorry, I had a tick on me. <coughs> I 
This is what kind of the way it was when I started Charlie. I could see these rabbits running so I could tell she was on a rabbit when it was like this. Which is kind of exciting with the puppy. So. <laughs> Giving that rabbit plenty of time to rest. Last time, it came across this field, this mill strip here, into the green side, about 90 yards up in front of me there. So, I'm gonna try to get it here. Billy just had to have the front there. There it goes, right there. That's pretty close to it. I'm almost positive it's going to run across this. No strip here. I may have already missed it. They've been running a little tighter back in here though. There's a little check. There's a cornfield up there it went in. Well this rabbit on this particular circle, he circled one good time down down in the low lowland down there. He brought the dogs up here and they crossed. Now this is all pretty much all briars in here. Wow, big circle. The dogs are running straight down this bush row here. About a hundred yards down there. I don't know. See 
fifth rabbit comes back through this cornfield. Oh, this rabbit's coming back. across this mow strip. It's right there. So I'm having a hard time keeping her going today. It's burnt grass, it's dry. This side's not burnt yet, but <clears throat> it's real dry. Yeah, it's probably not. I mean, I can't, I'm not. Is that what that noise is? Yeah. That's what that noise was? Them rumble strips? Really? <laughs> 
sure what I'm going to end up with here, but get the road on my left here. Somebody's over there watching. Somebody's watching my dogs. I'm not sure what they were doing. But there goes a the rabbit right there. I'll be darned. That was a big one. Right on the other side of that cornfield. I can tell real good that sunlight was right on him. Taking right back down where he crossed. I was just afraid of the dogs getting into the road there. Here comes the Heartland Pack. Let's see what happens on this one. Yeehaw. He crossed right about where that stick's laying down. They're going to have to hit this fence pretty hard. 